Good evening. We meet again. Welcome to my dining room in Atlanta, Georgia. I am your host, Kabir Sagal, and this is the Quarantine Concert Series. We're back. We're back. You thought you could get rid of us, but we're here in your computer streaming every day. Concert number 79 in 60 consecutive days. Are you tired of us yet? Because I'm tired of us yet. We're so tired of us yet that we're going to probably end the show soon after 100 episodes. So we have like 21 episodes to go. And after that, we're making retirement plans. Sandra, Camilo, and I are going to rent a boat. We're going to get our fishing gear together. We're going to get our bait and tackle. We're going to get into a nice yellow boat and set sail. That's right. We have a a, uh, vision of this. Let's show you the graphic. This is us. There you go. We're going to go fishing together as a family because that's what we've become during this 60 days together. I see them every day. They become family. I see them with the hair on, the makeup off. They're very lovely people. So that's me with the fishing line. That's Camilo, obviously, looking over my shoulder, making sure I'm fishing correctly. And that's Sandra driving us with Oreo in the direction of Maui, the name of their dog. So we're going to be going to a secret island, undisclosed location. Not only will we have our masks, we'll have our fishing rods, too. Coming to the end of the line, folks. Quarantine concert series. But that is what we're doing. We're hosting concerts every night because the gigs have gone away. We're going through an international pandemic. And it's a very difficult time for artists out there. And uh, our heart goes out to all the artists who have lost gigs. It's not just the artists. We love the artists. It's also the uh, producers and engineers and managers and bookers that are part of the creative ecosystem, part of the creative ecosystem. So we're very um, hopeful that the gigs will come back. But I think, you know, gigs have been canceled into 2021. This is a multi-billion dollar loss for the live concert space. So as much as you can, uh, we have to be there for everyone. And there's all kinds of ways you can support artists. Look at the uh, article that I wrote at Market Watch, if you can. It's called Become a Patron of the Arts to Help the U.S. Economy Get Back in Tune. The arts make up some 5% of the U.S. gross domestic product. That obviously includes television and movies. But independent artists are part of this number. We need to make sure we're supporting independent artists. How do you do that? You buy the music, you buy the merchandise, you buy the coffee cups, you buy the socks, you buy the nose rings, you buy the ankle bracelets, okay? All that stuff. You can also donate to several related charities like Music Cares. You can also become a patron. There's a website called Patreon, and you can support artists directly. So we supported this, we created this project to put the spotlight on the incredible artists. These are the people that share their mind, body, and soul with us, and you'll see that tonight in the incredible artist who is joining us. I can't wait for you to meet her. So I want to just share a couple more things. We are starting a quarantine. We have already started a quarantine. Um, Well, first, let me talk about all about jazz. Great website. One of our partners, they simulcast a lot of the, the concerts. So I want to thank Michael Ritchie for being a partner, a distribution partner of this broadcast. And if you're an artist, go to All About Jazz and create an artist page. If you're a patron and you have the means, please go make a donation at All About Jazz. There you go. So um, we've also started a quarantine film series, and that's when I have conversations with filmmakers. I just finished making my first movie, and uh, I was really disappointed because the film festivals were canceled. So without the film festivals, it's hard to get a sales agent. It's hard to get the buzz to distribute and sell your movie. So these are conversations with filmmakers who've had their films accepted into top film 
festivals like South by Southwest. For example, T.T. the artist, incredible artist from Baltimore. She made a movie called Dark City Beneath the Beat about the dance music, the dance music of Baltimore. So I talk with her about the, the craft of filmmaking and what she did and how she made it. So stay tuned. These, con these conversations happen at 1030 or 11 a.m. Eastern next week. All right. Next up, we have a word of the day. We always pick one music word of the day, one music word of the day. And this word, many of you should know. If you, there will be a pop quiz at the end of this broadcast. I will ask you, what is the word of the day? If you can tell me, you will get a prize. The prize is a puppy presenting you a trophy. There it is. Exactly. Now, we have a four-time defending champion. Claudia, I'm looking at you. Can you defend your crown? You didn't defend it this afternoon. We have yeah, I don't think you were there this afternoon. All right, the word of the day is inspired by our artist. The artist, her name begins with a C-A. So we've picked a music word. This should be an easy one. In Italian, it's capo. But I've also heard America say capo. What is it? A device for transposing a fretted string instrument, such as a guitar. De capo, a directive to the performer to go back to the beginning of the composition. See, that is what you learn at the University of North Texas in a master's degree program. No, you learn a lot more than that. So that is what's going down with the word of the day. Capo, capo. All right, moving on. Where can you find us? You can find us everywhere. We are on the Facebook. We're also on the Twitter. T -t 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 -ter. We're on the Instagram. Actually, we're not on Instagram tonight. You looking for my Instagram? Not there. We're also on LinkedIn. 30 million, over 30 million people have lost their jobs. If you're one of them, a heart goes out to you. A heart goes out to you. We hope to this moment of music will keep you inspired and encouraged to go crush your job search. We're also on YouTube and we're also on Periscope. Up Periscope down periscope those are my periscopes everyone in navy is cringing right now but that's okay that's okay we will carry on okay we're also on twitch if you want to be an artist on the show um look look me up on facebook or instagram and send me a message we only have 21 episodes left and um if you want to cut the line we have a bit of a waiting list again uh, all clients of sandra and camilo get the royal treatment so you want to cut the line we will take referrals from Sandra and Camila because they've been such great partners. And especially tonight, we usually do a 90-minute sound check before the show. We need every minute of it, every minute of it today. Uh, so you're going to see, you're gonna see um, how they've been able to sort of put the show together. And we're very, very excited to introduce to you now the best part of the show, introduce to you the incredible artist. She is a fantastic, fantastic a compass jazz pianist from Colombia, and she is um, a composer, an arranger, an incredible soloist. Um, she has her new album coming out that I want to talk to her about. She's one of the most dynamic and dazzling performers that I've come across in many, many years. Many of you know who she is already, but if you're meeting for the, her for the first time, fasten your seatbelts because she is just that exciting. All right, so please welcome to the show Live from Colombia, Carolina Calvace. Hi, Kavir, and everyone that has been doing this possible. Uh, Sandra, Camilo, <laughs> thank you so much. Yes. Well, it's great, to, it's great to see you. And for those of you watching at home, there's going to be a bit of a delay but, uh, that you'll see between the two of us, but that means I'm going to speak as if I'm in the military, and so she knows when I'm done with speaking. But I do want to ask you the first couple questions, Carolina. Tell me first, how has the quarantine affected you, and what, where are you broadcasting from specifically right now? Over to you. Well, uh, right now I'm in Colombia. Um, it really affected me because I actually got sick. I had the virus. 
and I had to, I just didn't want to stay in, in my apartment alone. And so I flew to Colombia and I was, and I've been here since March 22nd. So, um, you know, at the beginning it was just my health, but, but, but of course not being able to work and play and do the normal life like any other person, um, it, it affects me. But I feel like for now it's my health that I want, you know, like I'm good now and I don't have to like regret anything. You know, I feel I felt better at the moment I came home, and I think the warm weather helped me. Home, sweet home. I'm glad you're back. I'm glad you're feeling better. I'm glad you're uh, you've gotten over. Your music is something we all need. There's, there's a lot of suffering around the world. We would love to hear some of your music. What would you like to begin your performance with today? Uh, I would like to do a song called Te Conocí de Nuevo. Can I start? Vamos. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Yes, audience for you, Carolina. 
<laughs> I just don't know if I can like stand yes. or I that is too slow, too too short. <laughs> it's perfect. We hear you loud and clear. Cool. There's a lot of love perfect. coming in from you from around the world. <laughs> so Maxime, for everyone watching at home, tell us where you're watching from. We want to know. I want to tell Carolina everywhere that her music is being felt. Looks like it's reverberating in the Hamptons, Alabama, Illinois. <laughs> Looks like we have some people listening in Australia right now. So all over the world, Carolina, you are lighting up, <laughs> lighting up the world with your beautiful music. There it is, Maxime. There's, I'll applaud. I like to take the emojis and turn them into real life like gestures. So let's just do this one real quick. Clap, 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 clap. Smiley, smiley. It's fine. Mm. It's fine. Heart, heart, heart. There you go. So now I know you can't see all the stuff, but I want to give you the audio version of the emojis, Carolina. So um, tell us about your incredible new pro project, your incredible new album. It's very exciting. It sounds like it's coming out soon. What is the name of it? When does it come out? Why did you make it? Well, I'm glad she's there. Go ahead. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, go ahead. Okay, perfect. So, uh, Vida Profunda, it's a note to poetry. Um, and my alert, my. There it is. Vida Profunda. Great album. Comes out on the 29th of May. 29th of May. Yes. Keep going. And my my dad is a poetry uh, reciter and he he suggested why don't you why don't you work on poetry since every time I talk to you I always recite in poetry so you must have a lot of ideas and so I you know I did what he told me and I enjoyed it so much that I you know all the all the I mean it was like so easy and like organic when I did the project and I definitely wanted a different singer a different uh, character for every poem and and I chose nine singers all of them women, but one. <laughs> uh, Ruben Blades uh, sings one, which, which is my original song. And all the other poems and songs are sung by Luba Mason, uh, Claudia Cunha, Sara Serpa, Sofia Ribeiro, Lara Bello, Aubrey Jensen, uh, Aide Milanes. Uh, Dios, I hope they're all of, all of them. <laughs> there are so many that... <laughs> Sometimes I forget, but um, they're all amazing, and I'm so blessed that this project happened now, and I'm finally releasing it in two weeks. Where did you record it? Um, so, yeah, I, I hope everyone can listen and can go to my website and, and can check out the music. Yes, P please go to her website. CarolineCalvigia.com. Check her out on social media. And we'd love to hear you play another song. What would you like to play next? I actually would like to play one song from my previous album, Sotardeña. Vamos. Thank you. 
Yeah, brava, brava Maestra Carolina, wow, excelente, muy excelente, absolutely beautiful song, says Alex, yes. Brava. La musica de Dios. Music of the gods. <laughs> See? There you go. Getting a lot That's of love so cool. from all over the, the world. Uh, I hope I'm... Looks like I'm still freezing up here. Let's see if we can go back to this. Um, ask you a few questions that are coming in from around the world. Uh, one question Carolina wants to know... Who are your big musical inspirations as a jazz pianist? Your big musical inspirations. Oh, wow, too many. But um, definitely, in, I, I I love Fred Hirsch, Keith Jarrett, um, Bill Evans. Mm, I think for me, it's they're very very important. Mogrew Miller. Mm-hmm. I love Margaret Miller. Um, yeah. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Chick, chick, chick. Of course, of course, of course. Tell me, is there a um, uh, another question coming in here from um, Sally wants to know, have you uh, encountered any difficulties as a woman in jazz? Anything particular to being a woman in jazz that you like to share about the music industry or the jazz space? Any challenges you had to overcome? because of your gender yeah um, yes yes but um, I don't know I think sometimes you just have to be like just don't listen and just keep going you know like but I feel like every time maybe if you hear if someone really know music and they hear something very valuable in you composition wise or performance or anything I think you're I think those stigmas go away you know there are so many amazing um, jazz musicians women like you know Melissa Aldana and all of those that you know it's just the music is there and and you cannot lie with music so those people that have um, that have like persevere in their careers and and keep going no matter what they say uh besides or their talent those the ones that you know can can be heard and can continue being heard here by other people so yeah there is a challenge i think new york is just a challenge getting to that city but uh i don't know i feel like yeah. I, <laughs> I hear you i hear you is there a um <clears throat> is when you uh, compose music, I have a question coming in, but your composition, what is your composition process like? Is there some kind of, how do you get into your flow state where the music's sort of flowing out of you? Or 
like me, I'm a writer. It takes me it takes me a while to sort of get into the mood of writing. So how do you get into yeah. that flow state? Well, first of all, I try to be in silence for like a week. I don't know. I need a I can't be around people. I need to be in silence and I need to listen to music and then just silence. Uh, for example, if I want to to do something with a mix of Debussy or the a mix of Ravel or a mix of like folk music. I hear that music a lot and then just give a space and then for some reason, you know, you just and just hear them and you start writing. Um, I don't know, when I, there is this song that I wrote and I, a lot of people have played, it's called Tromboncillo. And this is a mix of classical with a little jazz, with a little Colombian music. Um, you know, I was hearing Colombian music all the time. And I was starting to get into jazz chords. So hmm. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It's just listen a lot, but silence is important. Silence is very important. Inner voice. Of course, of course. Claudia has a question. She says, and Claudia is one of the defending champions for the word of the day. So we always take her. Um, questions on this broadcast. She wants to know, I'd like to know who is who is uh, Carolina's favorite poet and has she composed anything based on a specific poem? Has she ever thought about adding the lyrics to her music or perhaps one of her father's poems? Mm -hmm. Well, I I really, I mean, I love uh, Pablo Neruda, but for, for this particular project, for example, I did different topics, so I chose different poets. Uh, I don't know. I just feel music when I read something, and and if I like it, no matter if it's famous or not, I just you know. But I definitely love Pablo Neruda. My dad, he writes, but he didn't want me to, to I don't know, to to put music. Uh, he's more of a reciter, so um, everything everything has been through the inspiration of his recitation. So, you know, it's like a performer that he only performs a lot and he's not composing too much. He's more of the performer. <laughs> I see. I see. Yeah. Got it. Well, I appreciate you sharing that and sharing about the, who are some of the um, Colombian poets. You mentioned some of your favorite poets. Who are some of the Colombian poets you think the world should know more about? I'm always interested in learning more about the literature and, and, and uh, poets of, of South America. Well, there, is, there are a lot, but, um, you know, Porfirio Barba Jacob, it's actually the poet that I chose for my album. He wrote a, a poem called uh, Cancion de la Vida Profunda. Um, and I think it's a poem that everyone should really read because it's very, it's very important actually for right now, you know, that the moments that we're living now, it's about... Uh, sometimes the life it's like a like a like a um, summer it's beautiful and but there are other days that are darker you know and sometimes not even God can really you know like help us not even not even the the, the most like I don't know if some people don't believe in God but um, this energy sometimes you're just alone but they're all a good moments one day so i hope you can read that poem i thank you for sharing that i look forward to, to certainly reading it um, i also look forward to hearing you play another piece of your wonderful music so what would you like to share with us uh next carolina yeah i'm gonna play um let me see let's see what it's <laughs> Tromboncillo, it's the Colombian song, and then I'm going to play a song called Stella. Should I stop? You No, keep going. Yeah? Okay. Thank you. 
So good. Good. <laughs> so good. Really good. Thank Bravo. 
Bravo. We very much appreciate that music. We're going to keep going on the applause. Very good. All right. We want to make sure. Do you feel appreciated? Yeah, very much. Okay. <laughs> whenever, whenever you're feeling down, I can always have the audience come back and applaud for you. So you know where to find me. <laughs> I always believe artists should get their daily mm -hmm. dose of applause because of their incredible artistry and um, this music they share with us. So. Thank you so much for sharing that, Carolina. Um, let me ask you about um, <clears throat> what's coming up. I know you're releasing this new album. You're releasing this new album. Is there a hope as to um, like what were you going to be doing in terms of getting the album out? You were going to tour it, right? You, hopefully, we're going to play different places. What did you have lined up um, in terms of performances that are no longer happening? I want people to get a sense of all the work you had putting into the album, what the release plans were going to be. Where they were going to, I was going to actually, well, I'm still trying to figure out if in September there will be a concert uh, here in Colombia, a couple of concerts. We're still trying to see if this is going to happen or not. And I had a release party, see, a concert in New York too, um, because well, actually, I was also going to do a release in Greece. Um, but, um, yeah, we, we can't go. Um, yeah. But, yeah, I mean, what I'm doing right now is that I want people to hear the music. So some of the songs, I'm putting the music out with play-alongs so they can actually learn them So for some of the musicians. Um, so they are, they, I did this with the Conocido Nuevo, which was the song that I released in April 2017. And I can interact with, you know, some people, the ones that want to sing it or just play it. And yeah, the important is that everyone can hear it and enjoy. Exactly. I want everyone who's watching to go to Carolina's website, carolinacalvache.com. She also has a section for, has a store section where you can buy uh, sheet music and albums and music. Um, please make an effort to buy the incredible music she's put out there for the world to, to learn. Also, uh, make it a point to subscribe to her on Spotify and the streaming services so that you can get notified. Um, you know, she's been releasing singles. So you can hear all like the new singles and you, you can also hear her forthcoming album. There it is, um, Vida Profunda, um, coming out in just a few weeks. So make sure to subscribe on Spotify, buy the music, buy the merch on the website and become an all around fan of Carolina. You know, I am. So um, I also want to ask you, uh, Carolina, in terms of your collaborators, who are some of the people that are your contemporaries that you collaborate with on a regular basis? I want people to get a sense of your, of you know, the fellow musicians you work with. Yeah, well, I've worked a lot with singers, but I also worked uh, in my trio with uh, Peter Slavov, Rodrigo Recabarren, um, Ori Gorbish, uh, people that I had toured Actually, I brought here like uh, uh, John Ellis. Um, they had come to Colombia. I also did a, a concert with David Vini. It was cool. Um, but um, because I have different projects, you know, like singers. So I have other, you know, it's Laravejo. I play Sofia Rivero. Like uh, I have my project of singing and strings, and I have the project of the quartet. So that's different people because I, you know, I just feel 
different ways with different performers. Uh, definitely my first album I recorded with Jet Little Show and we did a couple of gigs. Um, I don't know, I'm, I'm just like, oh my God, I can't believe it's, it's, I haven't been in New York and all this craziness that happened, but I have also, actually I, last, the last concert I did was with Tan Alexa in Berlin. That was crazy with Caroline Davis and yeah, and Dia, in Dia Owens. Yeah, on bass, great mm -hmm. bass player. Yeah, she played on, yeah. on an album I, I produced a, about a year ago. Great bass player, great feel to the instrument. Um, wonderful. Okay. Is there a, um, ha have you been keeping in touch with them um, on your friends virtually? Donna? And... Yeah, I mean, just mess, yeah, messages, yeah. Yeah, I mean, just, I've been very sick, so I've been like a little away. I mean, trying to mm -hmm. just do what I can, but um, but definitely, I mean, I, I we've been. Got it. Busy. Let me ask you something about, about, yeah, having lived through this illness, what advice would you give to people who are um, either going through it or who has, a loved, who, have, who has a loved one that's going through it right now? What can you tell us about what you went through that can give people hope? Well, uh, I just, as an artist, I mean, I had my album coming, you know, I knew I had to get better to, to give all this energy. I mean, I have saved all my energy to release this music. So if you find something that makes you like, um, makes you feel like, oh my God, this is worth it to, to just push it and everything will be fine, you know? Um, like the most important is if, if you are not in the hospital, you know, for like ventilator or, or things like that, using that, you are already good, you know? And if not, there is always this this little idea actually in the song in the album i have a song called hope and they and they hope it says there is one part that says if we are still breathing because we are breathing we still have hope so the fact of breathing is already a reason to to have this hope because there is no breath there is no hope there is no life so just um, because we are breathing have hope you're gonna see it in my album <laughs> and i always remember these words actually i took a uh, different like extracted poems from different poets that talk about hope and i put it in this part and it really helped me it really helped me just to see how other people look for hope and yeah yes hope Esperanza, we need it right now more than ever with what's going on in the world. And uh, is that the piece you'll be playing um, as your last number, Hope? Yeah, sure, I can do Hope. Is that your last slide? <laughs> we, we, we have time for, we have, we have, we have time for, I, mean, I think I, we have time I, I, for I one to... more. So let's see if oh, you can okay. fit them. If you, if, you, if you can, if you can, try to fit them both in um, back to back. I want to make sure we can fit them both in, both in back to back. So go, why don't you Let's play both pieces? <laughs> yeah.
Wow, sounds so good. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was amazing. Cool. <laughs> sounds great. Thank you so much for everything. Of course, of course. What a pleasure to have you on. Uh, I, I want to say uh, we're a big fan of yours, um, and you're a very special artist. I hope, I'm glad you're doing better. We wish you continued health to you and your family. And you're always welcome. Maybe when you're back in the U.S. and the Internet gods are, are um, smiling on us, we can do this again somehow in a fast speed way. But we appreciate the audience for sticking with us throughout this broadcast as well. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Camilo and Sandra. <laughs> too. Yes, exactly. So that, that's a good segue, actually. We do two things. We have to thank a lot of people. Uh, first, number one, of course, thanks to um, the great Carolina. Everyone go to carolinacavaccia.com. Check out her music. Buy the music, stream the music, everything. Buy the sheet music. All right. And we do have a word of the day winner. Yes, we do. This time, actually, is a split decision. We have a tie. So we like to present the puppy trophy to... Claudia Miranda and Julian Steinfeld. Congratulations, Julian and Claudia. <laughs> Word of the day was capo. Yes, you got it. You're both the holders of the puppy trophy. You know that is something very special in your lives. So, but the question is, Julian and and Julian and Claudia, can you defend your crown tomorrow? Tomorrow, you're the defending champion, but can you defend it tomorrow on the broadcast? 3 p.m. Eastern, we have the great Blanca Star Oliveira from Spain. And then at 10 p.m. Eastern, we have a great Zachary Pichar Pichardo, a great harp player. I also want to thank Sandra Camilo, Sandra Camilo, for their great tech support. Let's put their website up on the screen. SoundworksRecording.com, SoundworksRecording.com. If you're an artist and needs any kind of audio services, check them out. They're very nice, kind, polite, hygienic people. They smell very good. I actually can't verify that right now because I haven't seen them in person for a while, but I'm assuming that they do because they always usually do. So um, they also have two dogs, Oreo and Maui. If you mention one of their two dogs, you may get a discount. You can also schedule a one-hour session with the dogs to spend time with them. It's still, um, still billed at an hourly rate. 
So everyone, please support the dogs. And for an extra charge, you can let the dogs out. And then you will be the person responsible for letting out the dogs. All right, everyone, have a great night. God bless. And if you can, stay home.